I mean, halibut is like the coolest fish you can catch in, in, in Norway or probably in Europe in any case, you know. Big fish, they're furious, it's cold water. Look at the environment. I mean, we're in the top of the world. It's just insanely cool place to fish. I think we're going to make one of the most beautiful films we have ever done before because it's just, just being here on an island which has a thousand trout lakes, which is supposed to be really good for trout. And we're not even gonna fish them. We're gonna be out there doing this shit, so. It's possible to catch some fish that surprise because it's too much big. I don't know what I will find in uh, this kind of fishing, but I prepare all <laughs> that I can. We're going to target something which is probably, if you catch the really big ones, it's probably impossible to, to land them on a fly rod. We don't know. Nobody has done it. It's going to be really fun to see what we can actually do with these rods and if we can hook a really big, big fish, how we can actually handle these big fishes with these rods because these are designed for big tuna and marlin. So <laughs> let's see, uh, but it's gonna be really funny. I hope that this will be the right, the right moment for me for Haribut because about uh, 20 years ago, when I visit uh, Alaska for pike fishing, I booked one uh, special guide that are specialized for fishing Haribut. Unfortunately, uh, the weather condition changed and uh, I can't go fishing. So for me, uh, it was only a dream. But now, I won't try and catch it. Well, this week has probably been one of my best fishing trips in a long time. And we're trying to do something which is not really easy thing to do, but we could never thought it would go this way. So we're on a quite big island called Sörøya, north of Kiruna. If you know where Sweden basically ends, or Kiruna's not really where Sweden ends, but it's quite high up in Sweden. We're 300 kilometers easy um, above that. If you're a salmon guy and you know where the Alta River is, where the Alta is behind us and we're where actually most of that salmon grow up. We are going to stay and fish with the guys from Camp Halibut and they have been here for quite a while now and they are really experts in halibut fishing. But they don't know fly fishing, so that's going to be the challenge. Daniel, who's going to guide us, who's a great guy, he's, I think he's a little bit afraid because he's like, how can I hold the boat? How, can, how are you drift? How fast can you sink? You know? So, but uh, we're going to calm him down the next few days, I think. I know, uh, that is a, uh is not too much common for some angler. Uh, we are very crazy uh, to looking for halibut with a fly, uh, but uh, so I believe it's possible to catch all the fish that uh, we want with, uh, with a fly rod. It's important to have a good guide, have a good condition, the right condition for, for, for fishing this fish in some situation right for the fly. This kind of fishing is uh, cast, believe and retrieve. So, for all the day, it's possible to have uh, one bite and it's important are ready for catch the fish when the bite arrives. We're gonna go into the bay as well, but I think we'll start just make a few casts and just feel. Yeah, so okay. Quick. Yeah, but we need to kind of get a feeling how fast the flies sink, how fast the lines sink, are sinking. Yeah. So we're gonna be around eight to 10 meters now? Eight to 10 meters, yeah. yeah. Also 11 maximum. Yeah. Go ahead, but I think that so how are we going to do this? You put the boat in reverse against the wind yeah. and we'll be in the front? I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be um, adjusting the drift with a, so it's just more or less just spot lock with a, like a front mounted electric engine, but other way around. But a manual one. Yeah. yeah it's, it's... it's like a kid on Christmas. Yes. Now I try to understand the current like work. How heavy fly are you on? Yes. Eight grams. Eight, okay. This is perfect. It can't get any better if you can hold it like this. No, no, no. You nickel feel the bottom or not? Uh, I didn't feel the bottom on the last cast, mm -hmm. but this one uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Well, Sorry. you had a hell about diving down. Okay. Here. Oh, it actually came up from the bottom two meters, then turned and went down again. So we followed my fly then? Yeah, just a little bit. Only two meters up off the bottom, but 
it's definitely a fish. Or follow mine. <laughs> now uh, somebody said. <laughs> 10.2 meters. Is under the boat? Eh? Yeah, it went behind. Uh, it went down again, you know. But it's a little strange for a halibut to just swim above the bottom like this, so. Not 100%, but I don't know what else it can we'll make be. Make a cast behind there and see what. Okay, drop it here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm coming there. <laughs> it's like it swims forth and back. Don't put the engine in gear now. Oh, stop, 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 stop the engine. No, I'm not. What the hell was that? Do you think it's in your next silly? No, no, no. What are you doing? You're in front of the door. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's following, it's following. It's following, it came. Uh, yeah. yeah, it came. Oh, I was gonna oh, take it. Coming, it's coming back, it's coming back, it's following the fly here. It's following here. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck. Here. It's a small one. Wait, wait. Here. here, it's coming. 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 No. Oh. <laughs> it's biting the tail. Let him, let him take it. Let yeah, him yeah, take sorry, it. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> 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 yeah, sorry. Sorry. No stress. Yep. Epic. I saw it so many times. <laughs> he really felt like this guy needs. <laughs> I am going to tail that. Okay. Yep. Which means there is a bigger chance of loose net than. Yeah. But well, we don't want to injure those small fish oh, with the hook. Good. So. It's good. <laughs> if you take the fly, you can. Okay. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so it's the left side. Yeah. Do you do this or? Yeah. Yeah, got it. <laughs> you give this the road. <laughs> Okay, let it go. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Goodbye. That was okay. epic. It was biting so many times at the boat side. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Good job, man. Yeah. Well spotted. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of fun. That was funny. So, Paul, you never caught a halibut? No, I never caught halibut. So, it's the first that I've seen in my life. In, in not on the on magazine here <laughs> is is now catching the first fish of the of the trip was was really a relief actually me and paolo we've been tying flies fixing lines planning you know when you have a cameraman you're here he's supposed to do maybe one or two productions you know and i was really happy when paolo caught his fish the second fish oh you have one you have one oh, nice, one. nice, 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 nice. <laughs> If this is the first 15 minutes, it's gonna be a good week. See the fish is beautiful. So it's very beautiful. It's fine, I release. Okay, go. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he was quick. <laughs> yes, too fast. <laughs> good job! <One> sec. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much oh. for the first experience. Fucking fantastic, so, man. Good now job. working for uh, the for giant, the bigger ones, yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, nice. Did you see it? Yeah. <laughs> Same size or bigger? Oh, a little bit bigger, yeah, but yes. but not. It's not uh, no monster, but it's a little bit bigger. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very nice. Congratulations. <laughs> Just release? Yep. Thanks. Life is good. Yes. <laughs> oh, big fish oh. following. Big fish following. Shit. Yep, yep. yep. Oh. Ooh, coming back, it's coming back. No, he's, he's no, no, there. Went under. Okay, okay. He's, he's following. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. We were getting strike after strike after strike in a way that I've never seen a halibut take a lure. They just kill the flies immediately, and uh, it was amazing. It was just... Uh... <laughs> it's 
Oh, uh, ah, they're so cool. <laughs> I mean, they're just such an awesome fish on fly rod. Look at this. I never uh, imagined that it was like this. Yeah. Oh, I got it. You got it? Oh, good. Number five. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, it's following. Yeah, it's there. I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh, oh nice. it's a big nice. one. Yeah, I got it. Nice. It's <laughs> 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 perfect fish to it for the kids, right? <laughs> I made one test. <laughs> I love the head shakes, it's just so good. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. So this one is the perfect size to eat. Do you want to taste halibut? <laughs> yes, we want. And Paolo is desperate to, <laughs> to eat halibut with pasta. Cooker, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pasta the Italian way. This is going to be dinner. Yeah. I can hold it for, yeah, with the fly there. We're going to have an awesome pasta with this Pasta, right? pasta, I think that would be so an awesome pasta. So you cast, oh, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah I saw one. it. And I saw it, and it bite, <laughs> and then it came after, so I saw it, and then I dropped it down again, and I just saw it went for it right away. It was no yeah. hesitation at yeah, all. Yeah, it was very, very aggressive. Welcome to Norway, guys, to Soraya and Camp Halibut. Welcome. Yes, yes. Is the this is how they do it. <laughs> because I, I never see one thing like this. So I never imagined that happen. I, I think that probably we, we one, one, one bite or two a day is, uh, I, I imagined my mind. But we so. fished like. Two six, hours, less than two hours. So six, six fish, fish in the boat. Other eight or know. nine bi bites, but lose the, the, mo the right moment. We have to get yeah. undressed because it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, man. We have a, quite a strong drift, but I'm in reverse with the, the engine. Uh, I've put it on cru cruise control and it's running like 10% of the time against the wind, slightly in an angle, which means we are going in this direction down towards the waypoints where we have had most of the fish. So pretty soon we're probably gonna hook up. Oh, I got one. Yeah. You have? Yeah, I have one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But now I'm on, now I'm world-class tippet, so. <laughs> So we've had so many contacts, I actually, uh, we have two rods rigged with the world, world class tippet because there's no world record in fly with approved tippet. So, ah, I lost it. But I hooked one. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, a fishing day here is basically it's all about the tides. If I hooked one, I, I can hook more. <laughs> when it turns, an hour before and an hour after, that's really the prime time. So it's to, to find the right place and be there at the right time is really the key. And you also have to follow this because it moves one hour basically every day. Okay. Oh, there you are. Good. Yep. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, we talk, now we're talking. When I said it, I understood that was different. The fly line ran so fast and also arrived to the backing. See the swirls here? Big one? It's a big fish, it's a big fish. Look at the surface. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go a little faster after it. Backing coming. Oops. Oh, big fish. Yeah. Real, 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 real. Take this line basket away from me here. Just wait. Don't go too much fast. Oh, the jelly. That was one thing. 
Real, 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 real. Good job, man. Now we can come back to this. Lift with the legs. Yep. Go. Go lift with, yeah, go with the rod. Go with the rod. Yep. Go down deep, dirty. I feel <laughs> very heavy. Oh. Well, you know that. You have 14 world records. So. <laughs> you know how to. Uh. You know how to fight a big fish, Paul. <laughs> Should I get this one ready? Yeah. Yep. No, no, not no, yet. No, no. We're gonna hook it first. Okay. So. See well. Oh, it's a good fish. Don't high stick. Don't yes. high stick. No. Be careful now. Will you have one here, or no? Is it a tail rope? Will you have, or no? Ah, that's all right. Is it the same there, or no? Yeah. Very fast run. The fish start to to arrive. When I saw the fish, my heart beat. If you can just give me the line. Yeah, yeah, just one second that is not ready. Turn the drag down a little bit if in yep. case it goes. And it might run run straight under the boat now, so you're <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> now we got a real fish. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Good thank job, man. So much. Holy shit. <laughs> now we have a real flounder. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look at that. <laughs> When you're handling a halibut in the boat, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of things you have to think about. The first thing I do is I don't set the shark hook on fish that are too small, especially if they're under 84 centimeters. That fish is going to be released either way, uh, because that is the minimum size you can bring shore in Norway, and I don't want to injure it at all. Uh, but when we do land bigger fish, uh, and you make sure when you lift bigger fish that they don't get loose in the boat, you have to control them at all times. Especially, we lift fish up to around 170, 175 in the sling. And that is a big fish, that is a very strong fish. And if you are to lift fish over maybe 140 centimeters into the boat, you have to first of all definitely have a sling and uh, you cannot let the fish go. You have to keep control of the fish at all times. If the fish gets loose in the boat and it slams its head around and it, it slams the tail around, it's gonna be dangerous both for you and the fish and uh, they are unlikely to survive, so. Very nice. <laughs> Man, Daniel, fucking Thank shit. you so much. This is brilliant. <laughs> oh, did you hang? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Incredible. 127? 127, well, yes. yeah. Uh, the Hollywood love my taste yeah. because... <laughs> they love the your side, tails. Yes. Right? Period. <laughs> they love your tails. <laughs> I just lost one on uh, world record tippet and 30 seconds after he catches a 127 f centimeter fish, it's like... It's just a dream come true. Uh, all right. Okay. All right.
<laughs> fly is, I thought at least, was not gonna be the perfect like lure for a halibut. And it was gonna be hard to get the fly down and fish the fish right depth and present it in a good way. Of course, it's harder to get a fly down than like a sand eel imitation jig or something. But when they are down there, as Nicholas told me from the beginning, that he thought that the time spent down close to the bottom, close to the fish with a fly is gonna be much more effective than something else. We saw all, almost all the bites in the surface by the boat and the halibuts just were heading towards the head, just killing the flies. To be honest, I could barely believe it because it was so, they take the fly in such a special way that they wouldn't take a jig. The nature here is uh, very, very different from the other country that I visited before. In the north, the conditions change rapidly. All that I, I saw now, and I hope to see in the rest of the week, I'm sure that will be awesome. And leaving the dock, we were like, uh, as normal when you have a good day before, you think you're gonna catch fish everywhere. I was, when I casted the first cast, I was like, yeah, it's gonna get a bite in three casts, you know. That didn't happen. I mean, we didn't see anything, we didn't feel anything. And after that, an hour, Robert got seasick or <laughs> beginning to get seasick. So we had to move, we had to change to a different area and, and it, everything was felt really, really slow. But we have to remember that eight halibut in one day on the fly is not a normal thing you know it's, it can be probably a normal thing but it we were really really found gold the first day so we were moving around it was pouring down rain becoming basically noon and there was no action at all has anyone felt anything nope i think we go back okay to where we started don't really have a feeling here Wait one second. Sorry. I don't know if that was bottom or something. Oh, something is biting here. I, I see a fish following. Yeah, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling. Yeah. yeah, I got him. You say that you got that old film. I hope so. Motherfucker. <laughs> the last. Fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> I had a bite. Daniel puts the, the GoPro down. We get the bite on the film. <laughs> but it was really good knowledge of seeing how these fish actually react on the fly. And I was fishing the flies really slow. We kind of got there that we were catching even more fish if we were presenting the flies slower. Just had a touch, like when you have that feeling, like I think it was something there, and it just I saw it coming up, eating it. When we fish, fish the soft jigs, they know it's not something they are are gonna eat. They don't strike it like it's food. They strike it out of curiosity. And uh, when we were looking at the followers <laughs> that came after the flies, how they just slammed the flies, took them over the head oh, every time, <laughs> like they were just eating a sand eel, which is their main food source right now in the shallows. <laughs> Open. Look at that. Nice fish. Gonna go back to where it belongs. Probably like 70 centimeters or something. I started to put a GoPro down and then I just just kept doing that, another bite, and we got more or less all of the bites on film.
Oh, you have it. He has it. He has it. He has it. Yes, he has it. I have. It's good that they're nice to you because you had probably 25 chances on that one. <laughs> Do you need help? Or? <laughs> Good job. The pink. That's cool. Wait, wait, do one like this with the only, like the, only the only the only this. Fishing here is very, very different than fishing in every other part of the world. We found a different climate every day, every single day. Different experience that usually I do in my home waters when uh, we're fishing in this remote area. The scenery was awesome. The rocks that coming in the, in the sea, the deep, the water was completely blue. And this island is very unique. It's very close to bigger depths, like four or 500 meter deep waters. And I would like to call it the halibut capital of the world. The numbers of fish are the average size. The amount of big fish that you can find here, especially on the north side of the island, is just unmatched. It's unbelievable. And um, these guys are among the best that you can find for this kind of project. So I felt like if I only do my part, if I put them on the fish, if I hold the boat properly, and if I give them the opportunity to catch fish, these guys are going to find out just how effective fly fishing for halibut can be. Now we're really on the grounds where Daddy really has been wanting to fish for two days. The average size is supposed to be much bigger here, so, so uh, let's see what happens. Now we're in the backing. <laughs> Look at the head shakes, you know. Normally a head shake is like this, but this is going like this. <laughs> yeah, the head shakes on the halibut is ah, just, just incredible. It's insane, you know, it's so damn cool. It's the best, best head shakes there is. Yeah. Nice fish, we're on a meter, meter, yeah. ten, meter ten maybe. Meter, maybe yeah, maybe t meter, meter ten. Oh, what were you saying, a meter ten, a meter five? Uh, I think. Meter ten? Meter eight. Me <laughs> meter eight, okay. The gear we're using for this is the new um, Vision Marisola Muskie. These are um, 8.8 .8 foot for line 12. It has a little bit longer handle, uh, really nice when you're fighting. It also has a little bit longer butt, which is made when you're doing the figure eight for the muskie fishing. Uh, but it's also very nice for this type of fishing because you get the rod a little bit further out from your body when you're fighting the fish. These are very, very powerful rods. Uh, they have the um, Rex Seracol guides, you know, which is also really good for the boat. So you don't, when you hit things and stuff like that, you don't break the guides. And uh, big reels. These are uh, an Exo and a Predator reel mixed in it into, but this is the biggest size. This is the 10 and 12. So it's loaded with a scientific angler. Um, Big Max Taper, so this is very fast sinking lines. We're fishing the 700 grain, so we're fishing 500 and 700. And, uh, and then we spool them with uh, 50 pound backing, or in this case, it's 100 pound braid. So it's really, really strong. 
and I think you really want to have like 350 meters because if one of these big fish are caught on a, a, a shallow shelf and you have a big drop off on the outside and you have to follow it I think 350 meters is maximum probably what you can do but it's nice to be able to follow it a little bit the leaders is, is actually very simple this is 80 pound here uh, and then we're going down to 100 pounds so this is a one millimeter or 0 0.90 uh, space fluorocarbon uh, as, a, as a shock tippet and then a perfection loop and then we do a surgeon knot here and do 60 or 70 depending what you want we want to have a little bit thinner line here so we get a little bit better movement we can easily fish the flies down to 50 meters and uh, it's still a really nice uh, equipment for casting so good choice if you want to start trying this out you really should because it's insanely cool Oh, you have one? Yeah, it's a flounder. Yeah, yeah, we're on, we're on, we're on. Yeah. Is it flounder? I don't know. Yeah, we're on. Okay. Reel in. It's fight well. Oh, it's a good one. Good, 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 good. Okay, we're clear. Nice, Paolo. Yeah, I feel... Mm -mm. More break? <laughs> <laughs> I like feel this. Yeah. Ah, okay. um, on. I like feel this. Oh, it's heavy. Heavy? Yep. Nice. Okay. Oh, I think pink work oh. well again. That's incredible. Number 14. 14, yes. Yeah, a lot of halibut on the fly. That's insane. You might think it's impossible to, to fly fish and really have a good contact with the bottom when it comes to 8, 10, even 12, 15 meters. But it's not that secret. Of course, a good sinking line is very important, but also being able to weight the flies the right, the right way is, um, is really the key here, in my opinion. And what we have done, and this is an idea what Paolo gave me here a few months back, we, which he's been using for pike in, in bigger lakes, and it's we, we put um, two split shots onto a wire and then we tie them, push them inside to a mylar tube and then we fold this. So, and we put this on the, on the belly of the hook. So you get the hook to ride upwards like this 
and here we can choose with like two two grams or two four grams this is uh, two four gram split shots and uh, makes this fly weigh around 10 grams and it seems to be kind of a perfect weight or what do you say Paolo? around eight to ten eight, grams eight i think that eight and ten is uh, the best the eight best. Is, is better for cast yeah but ten <laughs> is but ten, ten is actually yes, and you know when we're fishing uh, pike in really deep lakes and stuff like that it's not a problem at all to cast five grams or six grams with a ten weight so casting you know, eight to ten grams with a with a twelve weight is not a problem at all. It's actually quite. It's like almost nymphing with a little bit heavier woolly buggers or something like that, or not nymphy, but casting a little bit heavy streamer with your five weight. It's not a big difference actually. And and color wise, Paolo's been ca catching quite a lot on pink and white. Uh, they're also feeding heavily on sand eel, so uh, a nice imitation of a sand eel uh, is looking cool. And uh, also, wide and white with pearl is something that they've catch a lot on when it comes to the jigs up here. Some basic colors, nothing special. Trying to match the hatch a little bit, except the pink one. But it's a sand eel, mackerel. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this is. This, this is disco. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is probably imitating a burbot. The size is probably like a big pike fly. Uh, we have been fishing mostly XL tails. XL, yes, yeah. it's fine. So tie a pike fly, weight it. And of course, you're going to see it on, um, on the fly dressing YouTube channel, how, how to tie these flies also. But simple effective and uh, easy to cast yeah, actually one, one hook no problem. yeah 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 we haven't used anything with two hooks because you can really see when they're going for them uh, and you probably have seen it too on the other water film here now when they really go for them they go for the head first and uh, daniel said that it's probably because they're so used to feeding on sand eel so they go for the head so they yeah, otherwise the sand eel see that touch a little bit yeah. the tail but when the side they go straight for the head so it's basically like a perch and when when they come there they just suck it in you know so so one hook even if the fly is 25 centimeters no problem at all Okay, fish. Good, 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 fish. good, good. Good. Whoa, whoa. good job. Big one. You think he knows it's hooked yet, or? <laughs> Is it a heavy fish or? Seems heavy, but probably I don't I don't have too much energy. But you're very you're <laughs> probably, Italian guy. No, also, because so. probably I don't have too much energy of the end of the day. <laughs> Today is an incredible day. So beautiful good, weather. Yes. Good fishing. Oh. Good number of fish. Hold it. Oh, yep. Shit. I'm gonna fight this for. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Day five and day six of this trip was supposed to be dedicated to a world record or ch trying to chase a world record um, on the fly for me and Paolo. Well, it went quite okay, just to say the least. Ah, good cast. Sometimes happen. Ah, lucky. <laughs> lucky, lucky. I actually changed from going for the world record tippet. It felt like a day where you could catch a big fish. So I went into really, really heavy gear. Um, the, the heaviest gear I have, a 14 weight with a you know, fast sinking line and a big fly. And, and I was just trying to cover as much water as, as possible. We didn't have a lot of contacts at all. Uh, the fishing was really slow actually. We were talking with a neighbor boat, they didn't have a single strike. I was a little bit inactive and I was just casting out, fishing extremely slow, playing the fly at the bottom when it just suddenly, it just felt like the bottom hit. Hey, the fish, the fish, the fish. Oh, it's a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. But it wasn't bottom. It was something, uh, not bigger than bottom, but uh, much more angry than bottom. Oh, no, it's so small fish. Yo, yo. 
<laughs> oh my god. No, it's a real oh, fish. Oh, good head shake. <laughs> yes. No, it's a real fish. <laughs> Gee, that is a big fish, Nathan. This is a big fish. Oh. I, 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 this is a real big fish. <laughs> Seems a bottom. Seems a bottom. Oh. That's some head shakes. <laughs> that is what we're here for. To be yep. <laughs> it gets down here. I'm on a 14 oh, weight. You saw the fish? No, oh, I but shake. I saw a head shake. Can we clear everything in the front? This is under 50 fish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, head shakes on the artist. I was something. It's just low. No stress. Yeah. He doesn't know it's hooked, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> Paula can't take this one. Yep. But like it's this? bigger than one in the water. It's like 170 or something. 170? I'm not sure. I don't know. It's, it's a big fish, I can tell you. Yeah, it is big. Take it easy now. Yeah, yeah, you might run straight under, yeah, yeah. under the boat. You have to go down and have yeah. a loose drag. Okay? Uh, this one was, it felt like one of a kind, like an opportunity and uh, a moment that <laughs> you don't really get that often. It was, I haven't been this, uh, this like affected by a fight of a fish that is under two meters for several years. Maybe get it out from the boat a little. I would like to be in the back there. Yeah, actually. yeah. That is the best by far. Okay. It's a beautiful fish. Extremely well conditioned. Look at the tail, black. Uh, yes. I think all of us in the boat were really affected by the fight and by the fish and by the opportunity we got. So we really didn't want to lose the fish. This spring I lost a really big sea trout. I, I, I've been a little bit de devastated about it because it was a huge fish. Like in the end of the fight, when I'm really pushing this 14 weight to the max, and, and even Daniel said that, shit, I mean, you're really pushing this, these leaders and everything to the max here. I felt like, oh, I, not again. Good thing it's only 12 meters. Yeah, but he wants to go in that yeah. shit. Now. 
That is not so good. You need to think of the angle towards me. You can't have the line in between. You're like yourself in between the line. And Don't push it too hard, Niklaus. You have all the time in the world. Can you step back, you think? I need you back here. You. It's just hanging straight down now. Yeah. Uh, halibut doesn't have a swimming bladder. So when you're lifting it the, the last few meters, it's, you're actually lifting almost dead weight. So you really have to push um, the gear to the max because you're lifting them through the water column. Okay, it's getting here now. It's here. The fish came slowly. When Nicholas pushed that rod, that blank, uh, to that point, it looked like if you put one more gram of pressure on that thing, it's gonna explode. Okay. Hur fan! <laughs> you got to be fucking kidding me! Okay. Oh. <laughs> I will get something. That shouldn't be possible. <laughs> oh, the fly is off. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's, not, it's not that often I'm shaking. <laughs> yeah. oh, they know. like orange. They like dragon tails. I think we have the big. <laughs> Paulo said we have the big now. <laughs> Oh, I want to handle this as uh, careful as possible. So we're gonna drive into shore. We're gonna take the measurement in a, in a good way, as good way as possible. <laughs> this this bad boy is going to the beach. <laughs> you have a good grip. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Quarantine. Så, du ska bryda upp den så. Du måste bara så här, den här dörren. Så. Nej. Jag, jag måste ha den så här, eller hur? Nej, nej, dörren, dörren. Nej, höger handen nu. Åh, nej, det är... Men fan... Det är ju felvänt. Det är ju felvänt, undrar. Jag tänkte, fan, det är ju bryda. Det är en vanlig som inte har tagit ögonen. That's why it was so hard with the shark where everything felt wrong because it's a lefty. It's a lefty. It's one where you can hold with the with the with the right hand. <laughs> I've seen one before. This year? Yeah. And, and the one second. at all. I mean they're Jesus. Usually goodness. you have to hold it with your left hand in the gill grip. Ah. Oh. Okay. There you have it. That's on the other side, yeah. <laughs> Take this. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 It's been a fantastic week here in uh, Camp Halabat at Surya, top of the Norway. Awesome, awesome, very incredible week. I know words for this experience. Yeah, cool.
24 halibut, two guys. It's on the fly. On the fly. It's an incredible <laughs> week. I was a little bit scared to yeah. get fly fishing guys, but the one turned out really good. Yeah. We fished, caught the most fish, the biggest fish in the camp in the week in, in five boats, which is incredible. Oh. Now Whew. he's back. Now he's back. Oh. Now he's back. You have to go to the gym this week. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the YouTube channel at Vision and uh, well, follow the Fly Maniac show. It's gonna be some epic stuff coming up. I saw in the book of it that for uh, Atlantic Hollywood, there is a real chance to do a new world record. Oh, look at all the sand here. Thousands of them here. You see them? They're everywhere. Yes, everywhere. There's two fish actually, two halibut. Uh, now I think we're on something bigger. Okay, oh. there it is. 